Hi there. This fine trap is called the Vulgar Volga in the Benko Gambit, which is an opening also known as the Volga Gambit, and it's taken from the famous game from the Chigorin Memorial in Sochi in 1977 between Spasov and Hungarian GM Andras Adorjan. After d4, knight f6, c4, and c5, we have the Benoni, where white plays d5 and gains space. After d6, white plays knight f3, where knight c3 is more common. g6, black intends to fianchetto the bishop, and white follows suit with g3. Bishop g7 and bishop g2. And only now does black enter into the Benko gambit. So we have a Benko gambit delayed, if you like. After c takes on b5 and a6, offering up another pawn, to open offensive lines. White captures, but instead of recapturing immediately, black tries queen a5 check. White decides to interpose with a knight on c3, knowing that black can try this move, knight e4, which looks good for black, as that knight on c3 seems to be pinned miserably with three pieces attacking it. But white was banking on this idea, queen c2, since if now, let's just say bishop takes c3, white was planning on b takes c3, and if then queen takes on c3, queen takes, knight takes, still materially ahead for black, but bishop b2 will win material for white. So white was hoping to enter into a variation like this. We'll take it back. Again after queen c2, If knight takes on c3, white wasn't really too worried because bishop d2 was planned. But here, black was one step ahead of white with a fine continuation for black. Can you see it? And it's a simple move, queen a4. And now they can't take the knight on c3 because the queens are hanging. And if queen takes queen, then knight takes queen. This is what white missed. If white would have tried b3 with now the queen hanging as well as the knight, then black still wins with queen to e4, threatening to exchange queens and black will be a piece up. So this is fa fantastic stuff. This is the vulgar vulgar in the Benko Gambit. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.